made for each other. India, Asia's rising economy and Germany, Europe's economic powerhouse, make for a perfect fit. With a rising India, blessed with resources and demographic dividend and hungry for cutting-edge technology, research and innovations, Germany is a perfect partner in more ways than one. Prime Minister Narendra Modi wasn't dramatizing when he said in September last year that India and Germany, bound by democratic values, are made for each other because of complementary skills and resources to power the next generation of industrial development through partnering in manufacturing and infrastructure development. Indeed, these will be key themes that will frame Prime Minister Modi's first full-spectrum meeting with German Chancellor Angela Merkel in Berlin on April 13. Ahead of the talks, the two leaders will jointly launch the Hanover Messi 2015, the mecca of high technology and engineering. The Hanover Fair will frame the master theme of Prime Minister Modi's maiden visit to Germany, Make in India. Sharing technologies and manufacturing expertise will be top of the agenda. Germany is India's largest economic partner and the second largest technology partner in the world after the United States. With the Modi government looking to raise the bar for the India story, one can expect Germany to unveil new investments and initiatives in a host of technology-related areas, including in high engineering, automobiles and green energy. Clean and green, this is the new mantra in India-Germany relations. The Rhine and the Ganga may be thousands of miles apart, but technology can bridge continental distances. With Germany setting new benchmarks in cleaning up the Rhine River, India will be looking to seek German expertise to clean up the Holy Ganga. Green technologies and clean energy are also poised to be fruitful areas of collaboration, with India looking to scale up the share of renewables in its energy calculus. Bolstering urban infrastructure and urban transportation, key facets of India's 100 Smart Cities mission, will also see proactive German participation. Education is another promising area. With India's young population burgeoning, Germany's well-known skill and vocational education program is just the right solution for the country aspiring to become an industrial and manufacturing giant. High technology and innovations are study pillars of India-Germany relations. But what keeps this bilateral machinery humming is an inner music of ideas that goes back centuries in the realm of philosophies and literatures of the two countries. The first chair of Indology was set up at the University of Bonn in 1818. The Heidelberg University is famous for Sanskrit studies. It's not just high culture that resonates. Germans love to rock to the peppy beats of Bollywood numbers and love Indian food. Ich würde wirklich gerne den Kontakt zu den Indern halten. I would really like to stay in touch with the Indian musicians. By exchanging information and working in harmony, we could maybe play more music together in the future. In Zukunft auch vielleicht zusammen musiziert. I think it's been very spontaneous making friends with the Germans and uh, we get to interact a lot during our rehearsals, after rehearsals and we share a lot about um, our cultures from India and Germany. We share about how um, music is approached in a different way in both our countries. So it's been really nice. Be it Make in India, Skill India or Clean Ganga, Germany is set to loom high in India's larger project of national resurgence. With so much going between the two nations, it's time to stretch possibilities and open new avenues. Prime Minister Modi's maiden trip to Germany promises to do just that.